would you like to know the basic components of the water treatment system in previous video we have understood the difference between ETP STP and WTP plant now let's understand the basic components behind the water treatment process which actually cleans the water first component is ultrafiltration this is one of the most important components used in the every system nowadays it is a hollow fiber or a sheet membrane which filters water purely and removes the fineness of the fine particles and microorganisms it can filter particles as fine as 0.025 microns which is even less than a human hair it is 75 to 80 microns this technology operates on the principle of size exclusion where the membranes allows water molecules and dissolved solutes to pass through while blocking larger particles and microorganisms. UF is effective in producing high quality water. In the UF process, water is forced through the semi-permeable membrane under pressure. The membrane contains microscopic holes that are typically in the range of 0.01 to 0.1 micrometers in the size these holes act as a filters allowing only molecules smaller than the hole size to pass through the suspended solids bacteria and viruses which are larger than the hole size are retained on the membrane surface and are subsequently removed from the water system it has gained popularity because it produces a stable water quality no matter the source water has a component physically footprint removes 90 to 100 percentage of pathogens and does not require chemicals except for cleaning membranes. Now let's understand multi-grade filter. Multi-grade filter is a type of filtration system used in the water treatment processes to remove suspended solids and impurities from the water. It consists of multiple layers of filtration media with the varying particle sizes stacked in the single vessel or tank. The layers are arranged in the decreasing order of particular size with the big size media at the top and the finest at the bottom. In operation, water flows downward through the multigrade filter passing through each layer of the filtration media. As the water moves through the filter, suspended solids and impurities are trapped by the media, allowing only clean water to pass through. The larger particles are captured near the top layer of the filter, while smaller particles are retained by the finer media layer closer to the water. The multi-grade filter is effective in removing a wide range of suspended solids including sand, slit, clay and organic matter from the water. It is commonly used as a pre-treatment strap in water treatment plants, wells and surface water surfaces to improve water quality before further treatment processes such as disinfection or filtration through activated carbon or membranes. Now next component is activated carbon filters. Activated carbon filters can target and eliminate approximately 99% of sediment, chloromine and suspended solids, also heavy metals and more from the water, allowing it to be usable again. Most activated carbon filter cartridges use a method called absorption to enhance the filtration. The behavior of the activated carbon is like sponge absorbing contamination from the vast surface area. The impurity-rich water travels to zones with the most powerful attraction force. Since the force of the attraction keeping the pollutants and impurities mixed in the water and now the contaminants are attracted to the surface of the carbon. Activated carbon filters are much more versatile than your average carbon filters as they can eliminate chemicals like chlorine from your water. There are many applications for the activated carbon filters, only some of them which are most important you can see from the below. Application Free chlorine removal and Organic matter removal Odor removal and Bromate removal after ozonation of SWRO permeate Decolorization of sugar melt, white sugar manufacturing and Decolorization of molasses Catalyst carrier, air purification and flue gas purification, dioxin and mercury removal. Now let's understand the next component is 
softener as the name suggests the softener is used to soften the hard water for usable purposes hard water contains calcium magnesium and other minerals which increases the degree of hardness of the water very hard water is not feasible for your use for detailed information you can watch our previous video on how water softener works now let's understand the reverse osmosis Reverse osmosis is a water treatment process used in the water treatment plants to remove impurities and contaminants from water by applying pressure to force it through a semi-permeable membrane. This membrane allows water molecules to pass through while blocking larger molecules, ions and impurities. In reverse osmosis system, water is pushed through the membrane, leaving behind dissolved solids, bacteria, viruses and other contaminants. The purified water is collected on one side of the membrane while the concentrated containments are flushed away as a wastewater. RO is effective in removing a wide range of impurities from water including dissolved salts, heavy metals, pesticides, bacteria and viruses. It is commonly used in both residential and industrial settings to produce clean, safe drinking water as well as for various industrial processes where high purity water is required electro deionization is a water treatment technology used in to further purify water by removing ionized impurities it is often employed as a polishing step in water treatment plants to produce ultra pure water for various industrial applications such as semiconductor manufacturing pharmaceutical production and power generation in an electro deionization system Water flows between two electrodes. The anode is positively charged and the cathode is negatively charged. Between these electrodes are ion exchange membranes and resin bits. When an electric current is applied, ions in the water are attracted to the oppositely charged electrodes. At the anode, positively charged ions are attracted and are removed from the water while at the cathode negatively charged ions are removed. This process effectively deionizes the water, reducing the concentration of dissolved salts, minerals and other impurities. The key advantages of electro deionization over traditional ion exchange method is that it operates without the needs for chemical regeneration. Instead, it relies only on electrical current to continuously regenerate the ion exchange resins making it a more environment friendly and cost effective option. Overall, electro deionization is an efficient and reliable technology for producing the high purity water in water treatment plants, ensuring the removal of ionized impurities to meet the stringent requirements of the various industrial processes. Now let's understand the last component ultraviolet disinfection. UV disinfection is a water treatment process used to eliminate or deactivate harmful microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses and protozoa present in a water. This method employs ultraviolet light which has the wavelength between 200 to 300 nanometers to disturb the DNA of the microorganisms, rendering them and unable to reproduce and causing them to die off. In UV disinfection system, water flows through a chamber containing UV lamps. These lamps emit UVC light which penetrates the cells of microorganisms and disrupts their genetic materials. As a result, the microorganisms lose their ability to replicate and cause infections or diseases. UV disinfection is effective against a wide range of pathogens including bacteria such as E. coli, viruses like hepatitis. It is often used as a final treatment step in water treatment plants to ensure the safety and purity of the drinking water before distribution to the customers. One of the advantages of the UV disinfection is that it does not introduce any chemicals into the water making it chemical free and environmentally friendly method of water treatment. Additionally, UV treatment does not alter the taste, order or pH of the water, preserving its quality.